I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I like to call this exercise random pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you make the right decisions from the beginning, you could end the Charleston with a pretty strong hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between being the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a west, a green. We have one, two, five, eight in cracks, pair of eights. We have two bam, four bam, seven, nine bam, pair of two bams. And then we have a single two and a single nine in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the two and the eight. Twos and eights are evens, so that's what category I would play. I would keep all even tiles. I don't care what suit it is, I'll keep it all. I probably would keep this dragon just in case maybe the one suit hand comes in. So I think my first pass might be one nine seven or one one seven west but that would leave us with like numbers i think i would rather break this up so maybe pass those three so i have a good pass next now this is a bit risky too at least it's one of each suit and depending on what we get in that pass, we can mix that up a little bit and make it better. Two, four, six, eight is what I would focus on here. We have a joker, a flower, North pair of West, red dragon, four crack, two six in dots, three, four, five, eight in bams. No multiples with the number tiles. Our only multiple is the West. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on winds and dragons. Since we have a pair of wests, I think I would keep like number potential. East and west with fours. Maybe we could play a year hand if we get white dragons. So that leaves us with these tiles. I think I would probably discard those three in the first pass play a wind and dragon hand most likely, maybe east and west with fours, or a year hand. Flower, east, pair of red, pair of green, six, seven, eight, one, five, eight crack, nine crack. So we have six, seven, eight dots, cracks with a pair of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass?
if these were my tiles, I would focus on the dragons. We could do six, seven, eight opposite dragons concealed consecutive run hand, or we could maybe do like numbers if we get eight bams. So I would keep the flower. I would pass these, probably those three. That's kind of nice. Dragons, no gaps. When you get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles in suits and in numerical order. Separate your dragons and your winds and keep your flowers separate too because those can be used with any of the number tiles. Flowers are all over that card. Focus on the multiple. If you have a multiple, keep tiles that support it and play a category that uses the most of your tiles. If you don't have multiples, build around the predominant pattern. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.